Jesus said the most important thing is to love God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and love your neighbors as you love yourself. How do we love God with all our mind, all our soul? It's put God first. Doing what's right even when we don't feel like doing it. Walking in our God-given purpose, doing what we call to do by God, even if it costs our freedom, even if it costs our life. That's how we put God first. And how do we love our brother, love our neighbor like we love ourselves? First, we got to love ourselves. And we love our brother the same way we love ourselves by doing unto others as we want done to us, treating people the way we want to be treated. And that's the golden rule to any faith, for real. Jesus washed his disciples' feet to let them know we are here to serve. If I am who I am and I got on my hands and my knees to wash your feet, how do you supposed to treat our people? We take our gifts, our resources, our experiences, and we use them to serve our people and make this world a better place and show the presence of God because God works through us. And so that was the example Jesus was doing when he washed his disciples' feet for real. It's a part of the Bible where a group of men was about to stone a young lady because they caught her in adultery. And they tried to trick Jesus up and said, Jesus, according to the law, we're supposed to stone this woman. And Jesus wrote in the sand, wrote in the dirt, and said, those without sin, throw the first stone. And one by one, every last one of them men dropped their stone because they know they did the exact same thing or do something similar. And that's just like us. We so quick to stone people knowing we have sin in our life. Anytime we share something negative about somebody online, anytime we hit like or comment or give our pain or judge, we are picking up a stone and throwing it at a person knowing we not perfect and knowing we probably do the exact same thing or something similar. And so anytime we ready to stone somebody, think about Jesus teaching those without sin, cast the first stone for real. Jesus couldn't perform miracles in his hometown because they did not believe in him. And that's just like us. A lot of times people see us for who we was and not who we are or who we're going to be. And so we have a whole bunch of dreams, a whole bunch of talents, a whole bunch of gifts that our people can't see. And somewhere else, our dreams, our talents will flourish. If you want to be an actor, why would I live in Salt Lake City? I need to go to Hollywood. If I want to be a surfer, why would I live in Ohio and not move to Miami? You got to go to what's feeding you and can nourish your gifts and your talents. But too many times we try to win approval of people who would never approve of us. And so if Jesus couldn't even perform miracles in his hometown, who are we to try to convince somebody who got their mind made up? They don't want to be convinced. So we have to go where we celebrate it and not where we tolerate it. For real. Teamwork made the dream work. We cannot be the best version of ourselves or do anything in this world worthwhile on our own. Jesus got 12 disciples for a reason. And he sent the disciples out two by two to let them know you need a partner. We have to function as a team to be the best version of ourselves and get the most done. But too many times, instead of looking at my brother as a helper or somebody to complete me, we look at him as competition and we go and try to do everything on our own when life is a team sport. If Jesus needed a team, who are we for real? Satan never came with pitchforks and horns and blowing fire. Satan comes slick and manipulative and he play on our temptation and try to kill our beliefs. Scripture teaches us Satan tried to trick Jesus and tempt Jesus by saying, just bow down and worship me. You can have all this. And that's just like us. When we trying to get off drugs or we trying to do right, Satan would send a person be like, come on, bro. It ain't going to hurt. Come on. Just live. We only live once. And then we do that thing and now we kill everything we stand on and everything we said we won't do again. And that's how Satan could get us because Satan works through people for real. This word fast is so powerful to me because I believe if we change the way we speak, we would change the way we think. And if we change the way we think, we would change the way we be. And if we change the way we be, we could change the lives of other people around us. Not even by saying nothing, but our life will be so different and they will want what we have. And now we can make an impact in this world. It was a part of the Bible where the disciple didn't wash his hand before he ate. And somebody said, Jesus, 
law says you should wash your hand before you eat and jesus said what you eat go through your body and come out of you but what comes out of your mouth is what truly defiles you and so we have to change our life and we can't change our life if we don't change our words and so i want everybody today to pray and ask god to convict us and make our spirit not sit right when we say wrong things and we should get in scripture and study scriptures on words the impact of our words so i appreciate everybody for taking out this word fast journey with us at one nation of christ for real